We heard that you started your trips to China in the 80s. Yes. So you were one of the first few pioneers of foreign entrepreneurs doing business in China. Today is our great pleasure that uh, um, we invited uh, Mr. David, the homeowner of Cedar Crescent, uh, to have this video with us. Uh, David, yes. introduce yourself a little bit. We heard that you started your trips to China in the 80s. Yes. Yes, let me... Um try and remember that far back. <laughs> um, yes, we went to, I'll tell you how we got there, but mm -hmm. um, we we were invited because mm -hmm. this was at a time when um, Deng Xiaoping was just have a, introducing the open door policy. Right. And they were inviting businessmen to come and, and establish joint ventures. Yes. And we took advantage of that because uh, at that time uh, we had uh, been manufacturing baby strollers and baby cribs. Oh. And we were sourcing some components for the wood side in Indonesia and Malaysia. Ah. And uh, so that was, we had a connection with that part of the world. I see. Uh, but we went to, um, we went on the invitation and uh, we, in the end we um, established a joint venture making baby strollers. Oh, okay. And this was very early times. Right, absolutely. This, is, this, this was in the, in, uh, in uh, Guangzhou area. Guangzhou area, okay. And, uh, where a lot of it was, of course, all the joint ventures were in that right, area. Right, 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 yes, yes. And uh, uh, our, uh, those were very interesting times, of course. Of course, yes. It was, uh, it was exciting, adventurous, and uh, yes. And we met a lot of fine people, many that uh, I still connect with. Right. And, uh, but we did, uh, we did uh, establish a business now. I've since sold that business that was juvenile products. Uh huh. But uh, that led us into doing other things in China. Wow, I see. Do you still do business there? Do you still go to China often? Uh, well, until COVID, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Since COVID, no, <laughs> okay. they haven't been at all. I see. Uh, my son uh, just returned from the first trip uh, to China. Oh, okay. Uh, and um, and um, Zhang Mai, I think you know him too. Yes, he's, yes. He uh, He's there now. Okay. And uh, those, that's the first return trip. Of course, wow. we've had many Zoom calls. Okay, yes. And uh, this is with my partners in um, in the ceramic sanitary ware, toilets and sinks. Okay, yes. And uh, we do that in, in the Zhengzhou, uh, in, near Shaman. Oh, okay. And, uh, and then uh, we also have a joint venture in the uh, engineered door business. So we wow. have two, two businesses still going from you know, starting a way back. Okay. And uh, uh, so I, I am looking forward to going back there, though, I can tell you that. It's been, <laughs> I, miss, I miss the food, I miss the people. I, I miss the uh, good times we have. Uh, it's not the same on Zoom calls. You know? Of course, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes, right. yes. Wow, that's great. So you were one of the first few pioneers of foreign entrepreneurs doing business in China. I, I, I feel that we were. In, in those times, uh, I mean, there were no, at nighttime, when it got dark, there was no lights. <laughs> and uh, there were no hotels. Right, yes. I, sh I should say that there was one hotel. <laughs> okay. And, um, and uh, it, it was very different times. You know, of everybody course. dressed the same and so on. Yes. It was the old China. Right. Not like today. Wow, China has uh, come, come a long way. way. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay.